Welcome to FDS MTG News for Tuesday, August 30th, 2022. Previews have completed, and now I will be showing all the cards over there while I flap my lips over here about other stuff, like how Heroic Charge lists the wrong artist on the printed card. On Friday, August 26th, Wizards posted a statement on the Magic website stating that Paul Scott Canavan is not the artist for Heroic Charge. The actual artist is Zoltan Boros, who also happens to be the Magic the Gathering artist with the most metal name ever. The statement did note that Arena and Magic Online will include the correct attribution. Maybe with stickers coming in Infinity, they can start including a sticker sheet with the correct attribution whenever this happens in the future, and we can make the correction on our own. The other three commanders for Warhammer 40k have been revealed. Not intentionally, I don't think. I just realized that I didn't explain how it was leaked. It seems the WPN website released the promotional materials for the Warhammer 40k commander decks early, and it included product shots of the other commanders. I have checked, and while these leaks have made it out into the wild, the product shots are no longer available. Again, being replaced by a tiny little not found. No official comment or acknowledgement has come from Wizards at time of recording. Some have speculated that this is guerrilla marketing and Wizards is leaking these things as a way to generate hype. And I might believe that, but it doesn't seem to make sense here. There was a lot of anticipation for the reveal of these commanders, so it seems like Wizards would want to control that message a little better. This just becomes another leak and generates less hype. And whether I'm right or wrong, whether this is guerrilla marketing or not, this just looks bad. Dominaria Remastered being revealed six days before the official announcement. Dominaria United release notes being accessible on day one of preview season four Dominaria United. I genuinely feel bad for the team that laid out the spoiler schedule for all of these things. The original plan was to have this be a time to listen to the music while the cards scrolled across the screen so I could get through all of the cards from Dominaria United. But breaking news just kept dropping after I recorded the episode, so I'm just going to record some audio over these bits. The Commander Rules Committee posted their quarterly update on Monday, August 29th. No changes! So we all get to deal with Dockside and Thassa, yay? But they did notice that there has been a lot of lively conversation around Commander gameplay. So they noted that they are concerned considering Rules Committee expansion, and they've conducted a couple of interviews, and they are on the verge of making a decision, but they aren't ready to make it just yet. But they are expanding the Commander Advisory Group. They will be adding Rebel, Benjamin Wheeler, and Tim Willoughby. Wizards noted in their most recent Arena Update article that the Universes Beyond Lord of the Rings set to be released in Q3 of 2023 will be true to tabletop on Arena, and the cards they release from the set will not include any rebalancing on the program. It will be legal in Alchemy and Historic. I also think this is a good time to note that the Lord of the Rings set will be modern legal in paper, in addition to being legal in Vintage Legacy and other Eternal formats. Mark Rosewater, in answering a question on Blogatog, noted how it's becoming a big concern that draft formats are being solved in shorter and shorter timeframes. This is mainly attributed to Arena and the capability for players to run 50 to 100 drafts within a very short period of time, being able to solve the format within a week or so. He noted that it was a growing concern that Wizards is aware of. No more vanilla creatures. Yep, with the rotation of Strixhaven, Zendikar Rising, and Kaldheim on September 1st, it will be the first time in history that there will be no vanilla creatures in Standard. A vanilla creature is a creature that has no abilities or mechanics. It's just a basic creature with a power and toughness. The last time a vanilla creature was printed in Standard, it was Ageless Guardian and Spine Karok in Strixhaven. They, along with Cliffhaven Sellsword, Grizzled Outrider, Highborn Vampire, and Morasa Brute, will be rotated rotating out of standard on September 1st, as Strixhaven, Zendikar Rising, and Kaldheim leave the format. There will still be plenty of French vanilla creatures, creatures with a single ability, as well as whatever the hell flavor you would call this. This just in, Dominaria United product delays have been announced by Wizards on the Magic the Gathering website. On Monday, August 29th, Wizards noted that there will be delays in the Asia-Pacific region and the Latin American region. Stores in Singapore, Malaysia, Indonesia, Thailand, Philippines, South Korea, and New Zealand will not be getting the Jumpstart boosters until shortly after the release of Dominaria United on September 9th. Stores in China will not be getting the Jumpstart 2-pack until late September. Bundles and Commander decks for Dominaria United 
United will be available in early October. Stores in Japan will have a delay in collector's boosters, but they are expected by the set release. They are extending the pre-release event scheduling due to this delay. Stores in Taiwan and Hong Kong will not be getting the Japanese language Dominaria United set boosters until the end of September. Stores in Australia will have a delay on the Jumpstart 2-pack and Draft Multi-pack, but it should be available in late September. In Latin America, all pre-release kits, along with some other additional products that they did not specify, will be arriving one week after the release of Dominaria United on September 9th. They will be extending the pre-release scheduling until September 22nd due to the delay. Now that preview season is over for Dominaria United, what cards are you most excited about? It seems the new Karn is inspiring conversations all over the web. While personally I expected a little more zhuzh in Karn's loincloth, I'm reserving judgment until the Brothers War comes out. I mean, it probably won't really change much and he'll remain meh at best, but I'm still giving him a chance. And to be honest, I love me some Karn, so no matter what his power level, I would love this card. Yes, I do wish it was stupid powerful and I could slot it into my mono green Tron deck to make it a mono green tri Karn Tron deck, but I don't really need another reason for people to hate Tron. Now this token is making some waves because why does it exist? I mean, I like the art, but is there a lineage of insectile aristocracy chilling on Dominaria? Are they on Queen Beatrice the 1897th? And does anyone else think this looks like the cover to a Goosebumps novel? And from the Jumpstart packs, my chase card is Sarah the Redeemer for my Giada deck. Overall, I think Dominaria United lands in a good spot in terms of power level and will be a fun set to draft. With the Brothers War right around the corner, there is a lot of pressure and expectations for that set to be good. We're probably getting a new Urza card and a Mishra card and Gix, not to mention many, many more. And the expectation for that set to be broken is high, so it makes sense that this set was a little more understated. What cards are you looking forward to in Dominaria United? Is there a card you can't wait to build around? or have as your new commander? Let me know in the comments down below. That about does it for today. Like, subscribe, check out my Patreon, and click on stuff. Welcome to FDSMTG. Wow, got two words in. Welcome to FD. The other three commanders for four, four hammer Wardy K. Starting off good today. And then the Dominaria United release notes being accessible on day one of preview season. Season. And then the Dominaria United release notes being accessible on day one of preview season for Dominaria. Yaryaryaryaryaryaryaryaryaryaryaryaryaryaryaryaryaryaryaryaryaryaryaryaryaryaryaryaryaryaryaryaryaryaryaryaryaryaryaryaryaryaryaryaryaryaryaryaryary
Dominaria Remastered's release notes being accessible on day one of preview season. season. And I received a lot of great feedback, and now I will be that why would be that like how heroic challenge charge, not challenge, charge. On Friday, August 26th, withered withered's on Friday, August 26th, withered. The statement did note that Arena and Magic Online will in will, will in Cliffhaven Sellsword, Grizzard Grizzard. What cards are you most cited most most cited? What are you cited about? Well, personally, I expected a little more zhuzh in cons, cons. Try Karn Wano Green Karn deck. Karn deck? Tron deck. No. This show is part of the CIP Network, inspiring creativity, one episode at a time.